So for today's dish, we're going to be doing uh, bow tie pasta with red wine, and we're going to be baking rabbit using white wine. Um, this is a really simple dish to make. Let's say you're having a lady friend coming over for the evening, uh, and you want to show off. It's really easy to make. Um, some folks had pet rabbits as kids and maybe don't want to eat them, so you can always substitute chicken. So let's get started. We're going to begin with the pasta. First thing is throw a little bit of salt into the bottom there. And uh, I'm going to add an entire bottle of Malbec. Uh, it's a nice cheap red wine from Argentina. And the pasta is just going to soak up all the wine. Mmm. And I'm also just going to thin it out a bit. I'm going to add a pint of water. And make that a pint and a half. And we're going to bring this to a boil. And now we're going to begin to prepare the rabbit. Now the first thing I got here is a bit of a roasting pan. And I'm going to take a bottle of white Argentinian wine, Torontes. Again, nice cheap white wine. You don't need to go all out, get real expensive with the wine. I'm just going to pour that whole bottle in there. While that's draining out, we're going to throw a little bit of salt in there. There we go. Nice, healthy handful of chopped garlic. Maybe a little bit more. And then uh, we're going to take some fresh sage. Just grind up the leaves a little bit with your hands. That gets out some of the oils couple of sprigs of fresh rosemary. Actually, I'm just going to take this one long one, break in half. A couple more sage leaves. And we're going to add some fresh thyme as well. So we're kind of like making a wine tea that we're going to steam the rabbit with. And a little bit more sage for good luck. We're going to put the top on the pan here. Next, we're going to grab our rabbit. There's our rabbit pieces looking lovely. Looks like we even have a couple kidneys there hanging down. And I'm just going to lay out the pieces of rabbit on the roasting pan. And the next thing we're going to do is take some aluminum foil, nice big piece, and we cover it all, and we're making like a steamer for the rabbit. You know, leave a little bit of room at the sides for some of the steam to come out. And the oven's been preheated to 300 degrees. So you grab it, and you throw it in, and we're going to check on that in about half an hour. Now we got the rabbit started, and we'll work on the rest of the pasta. The red wine has begun to boil, and we're going to be adding the pasta. Add it in the whole box. This is a, about a one pound box, 14 and a half ounces. Give it a nice stir. And we're going to let it boil for a few minutes. The pasta is finished cooking. You can see it's uh, taking on a lot of the purple hue of the red wine. It's time to drain it. And uh, we actually have the strainer on top of a saucepan here because we want to keep the liquid. We just want to separate it from the pasta. Drain all that out there. A little bit of liquid fell out, but that's all right. Last two pieces. Now it's time to make the sauce. It's been in the oven at 300 degrees for half an hour now. Everything should be steaming nice. You can already see the steam coming out there. All that steam is just rabbit juice and white wine. Peel back the aluminum foil. And you can see the rabbit's about halfway to done. It's turned white. The color of rabbit gets the same as chicken. 
that's, uh, that's how you know. Um, it's about halfway done. You really smell that wine. And it's looking nice. And there's a little bit of salt there. A little extra flavor. And it's coming along nice, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock the oven up to, it's at 300 now, so I'm going to put it at 350 and we're going to let it cook for about another half an hour. going to get onto uh, making the sauce for the pasta and uh, this is all that leftover wine that we boiled the pasta in and uh, the first step we're just going to have to boil off about half of that mixture. A red wine mixture has a lot of it's boiled off you can see the purple ring up there uh, so we're going to finish up making the sauce and the first thing I'm going to add is a can of tomato sauce and that's just going to go in with the red wine. Um, we want to lower the heat to a simmer at this point. And I'm just going to stir in that tomato sauce. And it's looking nice. And I'm also going to add another half a can. That's about right. Um, next up, we're just going to season it. But we're going to take a nice healthy pinch of chopped garlic. Throw that in there. As well as a few shakes of basil. And a few more shakes of oregano. We're going to stir that all up. And we're going to let that simmer for about 10 15 minutes. Check on that rabbit. It's been uh, 25 minutes since we put it back in. Let's pull that bad boy out of here. Pull that aluminum foil off. Never grab with a gloved hand. The rabbit's looking pretty good. And we're going to keep the aluminum foil off. And next one I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a little bit of chopped garlic. Throw that on. We're just going to take a bit of your uh, standard Italian seasoning and just you know, like little taps, nothing special, just a little bit, pretty it up. And the oven's still at 350 and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to throw it back in uncovered for about 10-15 more minutes. And as you can see we got our sauce here, it's uh, reducing a bit more, still working on that. suitably reduced. You can see here it's nice. It's midway point between red wine color and tomato sauce color. You can see the bits of garlic floating around and um, we're not going to add all of it to the pasta. We're just going to add most of it. Keep a little on the side. And we're just going to pour that in on top of the pasta. I'm just going to give it a couple tosses so everything's nice. And Nice and shiny and evenly coated. So um, I shut off the oven and I'm going to pull out the rabbit. It's looking great. It started to brown up nice. And uh, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm just going to pull off the top part of this roasting pan. Look at that, that white wine juice. I'm gonna fill a turkey baster just full of it. Give the rabbit a little squirt everywhere. Fill up a, another baster full. 
together and we're gonna pop it back in the oven for five more minutes now the oven's off but it's still like 350 325 degrees in there. and we're gonna put that in for five minutes and then we'll be done with the rabbit so we're all done with the rabbit now we're done with the pasta we're done with the sauce we're ready to pull out the rabbit and that is just done beautifully. And uh, what I'm going to do is pry off the top. Again, it's a little hard to do. Pry it off one last time. You can see all the herbs in there. Little too. We got a nice like garlic, herb, and white wine tea going on there. I'm just gonna fill up this turkey baster and get the rabbit. The final squirt. And now we're ready to serve. dish is done and we're ready to serve. We're going to take a few nice scoops of the pasta. Drizzle on a little extra that wine and tomato sauce. And the last thing we're going to do is drop a nicely done hunk of rabbit down on there and you're ready to eat.